When you think of Audi, what do you think of? You think of performance luxury. Well, look, have a look at this. We've been out in every single one of these in that track. Can you swing over here? Follow me over here, over here. Out there is a track. In fact, come around this way. Keep on, keep on. Look at that. Guess where we are? We're only at Phillip Island. Like all days at Phillip Island, the weather can be changeable, but it doesn't matter. You arrive at the track full of anticipation. The track days are divided into different experiences, both there and on the skid pan. You take the RS models, the RS5, the RS6, the TTRS, and the magnificent RS Q8. Out onto the track, but the range topping R8 is where everybody wants to be. This is the car everybody would have in their garage if they could. Throughout the day there's catering, there's full on catering with delicious food and of course it's all served in a COVID safe way. Trouble hearing him in front of the car won't start, won't misbehave, so do it breaking in a straight line. Okay. Push it up and maybe not I think I've got that. Do my braking in a straight line. Okie dokie. There's a briefing with our racing drivers. Each of these drivers goes out in an identical car in front of you. They tell you exactly what to do via two-way. You simply have to follow them. Follow their every instruction. up in all sorts of bother. We left the traction control on the whole day. If we hadn't, there would have been people off in the kitty litter for sure. These bends, especially on slightly wet days, can be really challenging. And you struggle and you strain, and sometimes they get a bit squiffy when you break. They told us, just in case you're wondering, they told us to keep the traction control on. So that's Josh, and he is my co pilot for the day. He's in the a car's in sport uh, on the gear selector. So not Steve Pizzardi. What's up, young Steve? Just checking benzene levels. Perfect, <laughs> no worries, all good. All good. By benzene, he means petrol. Bless him. All right. So this car, we've we've driven this A5 version before, but the RS is a completely different animal. And obviously it's got not quite as much in it as the R8's got. That is an absolute weapon. And I didn't video that this morning, so I'll video that this afternoon. But these things are just absolutely beautiful. So tight. North and taut. Stay nice and close to the right line on the left and you'll be fine. Nice and close to the line. Keep it nice and tight, nice and tight, that's it. And then pull it all the way up the hill, all the way down. Turn the car in, focus on the car on the inside, flip towards that, and then drive straight to the bridge. The stuff the accelerator is you change direction, and then reapply the power on the exit of the corner. And he's looking at me in his rear vision mirror and his driver. Off the gas, let the car roll and maintain some momentum. Pick the power up. 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 Pick the power up
Q8, I drove this down from Melbourne last night. Comfortable, and you give me the thump, you ready to go? Okay. What she's trying to tell me is. Okay, so we are good to go now. So I'm down to about 100 kilometres an hour, and the um, RS5s have overtaken us. Alrighty, see there's some geese off to the right there. Okay, so just wash off our speed in the straight line here, looking for that apex cone, nice smooth turning. You'll notice that this car doesn't have any body roll, uh, like your typical SUV, which tends to move around a lot. It handles really, really well. Nice and even and responsive in the steering, so very, very awesome for a, a big family car. The momentum carry the car out to the outside of the track. The RSQ8, this is my favourite non-R8 car. The R8s are obviously fantastic. All of the cars have quattro as you're standing in the pits and these cars are going past of up to 250 or 260 kilometres an hour. Sounds absolutely filthy. The exhaust is magnificent. It isn't as easy as it looks. You can see how I'm straining. You need upper body strength that although you've got power steering, this thing is really throwing you around.
God was doing that, but it didn't feel anywhere near as. Have you got the tr all the traction stuff on or off? No, I've got it on. Just I'm... so Mel's got it on, the same as what I have. <laughs> <laughs> My bits are jiggling. <laughs> Sorry for those professional drivers having to put up with thick thumbs like us. But look, the weather's starting to close in. So that means it's time for us to go. So, as always, hit like, leave a comment, and just dump um, there to subscribe. <laughs>